Hello to my Cancers. This is Queen of Moon Rock coming to you with your general reading, Cancers. Let's get right into it. The Moon, happy first quarter moon, happy first quarter moon. So don't forget to put some action behind your intentions. The Moon is in, who has moved into Pisces. Pisces is that dreamer sign. So hopefully you all are putting some actions behind those big dreams of yours and not getting yourselves, allowing yourselves to get distracted by your feelings. Um, Mars, which is a tower card, is currently retrograde, so a lot of people are very vulnerable, not just because of the holidays, but because they're having awakenings, right? And so it's total recall of a lot of things that's going on, and so mixed with the moon being in Pisces, a lot of downloads are happening, um, that people may think they're imagining things, but that is the moon in Pisces. So, if you feel like you're imagining things... Focus on those big dreams that you had when you were younger, the people who supported those dreams, people who believed in you, write all those things down. Those the names of people who believed in you um, during those times and focus there. Put all of your focus there and so that you can expand those dreams. That's Jupiter, expansion, good luck, good fortune, so that you do not get distracted uh, what's going on around you. Let's get into it, Cancers. Let's go. I'm trying to help you to stay focused. Focus, focus, focus. This is the month of expansion. You don't want to wait till you get to the end of this month and go, I was so distracted. I was so overwhelmed. I had so much going on. I couldn't focus. So I'm going to help you to stay focused. All right. Let's get into it, Cancers. Let's go. Talking to you, wherever Cancer is in your birth chart. Wherever Cancer is in your birth chart. Somebody is picking up on the feelings of someone who is trying to come closer to you. A soulmate. Soulmate is not always is not always a romantic interest. It's a younger person who really wants to be near you right now. Is a two of cups. It could be a younger person who really wants to be near you right now. So their energy is trying to come in closer. You're picking up on their emotions. Here's the sun card, um, and so you're going to be very very happy to see them. They're they're getting closer and closer to you. Just so you know. So that's good news coming in. Here's the Nine of Cups, and it's a wish fulfilled for you. Somebody who may not have said, um, they could be connected to somebody who may not have said the nicest thing to you, but it's a wish being fulfilled for you. So congratulations to you. It's a wish that you want it to happen, and it's happening, right? So continue doing the mirror work. Continue putting that list, that gratitude um, list together, because it is a wish fulfilled. They see you. They now know your worth in their lives they now know your value they now see you as just who you are a sweetheart you're very compassionate right like i always say you all are very sweetheart sign you're very compassionate sign right and so people know you can't fake it you can't fake the compassion of a cancer you all are um very nurturing sign and um people know it people know it people know just how nurturing you all are i'm talking to men and women cancers so so people know it so they know that you feel, they know they, they are a member of your soul community, right? It's a family member or they like a family member to you. They now know your value. They know, um, they know your worth. Um, if they ever said anything disrespectful to you all, Cancer, trust me, it was because somebody, they heard somebody, they were under a spell, trust it's because they've heard all this negativity about you and they were only repeating what they said. They heard it in both ears um, since they were little. All they heard was negativity. It doesn't spell work. Um, um, you know, imagine somebody always being around, <clears throat> you know, when they were younger, hearing a bunch of negativity about you. You know, just hearing a bunch of negativity, but in your face, they won't say it. But, you know, behind your back, people are saying it. Um, you could be an educator and your child comes goes home and they're just raving about how excellent of a teacher you are or an educator. Just say educator, right? You could be a teacher's assistant. You could be a guidance counselor and somebody, you know, goes home and they're like, oh, my God, Mr. or Miss so-and-so. They're such and such and such. They're raving about you. And all, you know, people's like, mm, who is this person? I don't trust such and such, you know, just negative, right? And they, that's all they hear. It's just almost like somebody stuck a pen in their enthusiasm, their excitement, you know, about you. That is a form of spell work, words are spells. 
and they're, now their enthusiasm, you know, has gone down. So now they're, they, they're sitting there thinking maybe they're not, you know, maybe they're not, and they're not as motivated anymore. But imagine hearing that constantly to a point where every time they want to get excited about you, they got to hear that, right? So, or if you're the other parent, or if you're the step parent, or if you're the men the mentor, you know, so Source is saying your wishes are being fulfilled. So you can go ahead and start thanking Source now. So something is getting closer and closer, like physically getting closer and closer to you. So something is getting physically and physically. That's what I've been saying. When you're at a vulnerable, when you're having a tower moment, immediately go into prayer mode. Just start thanking Source for whatever it is you pray for. You're having a total, re you're having a total recall of something, right? But something is happening. It's already happening. So right now, pouring in, um, just cause they may be pouring out right now, right? They may be, they may be, like I said, um, emotionally wounded right now, just feeling really sad. It's the holidays. They could be pouring out right now, um, expressing themselves. So just continue pouring into yourself. So if you've been feeling emotionally dehydrated, Source is saying, continue pouring into yourself because they are going to need your compassion. They're really going to need your compassion. So, let's see you being very successful. Successful. Very happy. So, congratulations. Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords. Like I said, in both ears, people have been saying you're crazy, you're this and that. I mean, just all kinds of just negativity, right? So, stay in a posture of gratitude. Just start speaking it. But number three looks like lips. You inspire them to create. You know, they're, they're very creative. So, when we talk about creativity, we're talking about water, sacral chakra, right? Water is shaped by whatever you put it in, right? So, <clears throat> it looks chaotic and confusing until you put it in a container. <laughs> it's all over the place. Until you add structure to it, right? And so, yeah, if there, if there are people that they're around who are saying all kinds of negative things about you and how you created your life as a cancer, you're very creative, right? And they don't know the nature of, you know, how your symbol as a crab move. They may say, oh, every time you turn around, they're doing this and they're doing that and they're doing this and that, but... They open up this business. They went to school for this. They went to school for that. They can look at you as unstable, but were you unstable when they needed help and you were helping them? That's why they can't say it to your face. They got to say it to somebody who doesn't know their worth behind your back. So that's why you don't have to give it any energy. Your prayers are being answered. Right? The third eye is open. Um, yeah, so I see you being a little bit more conservative with your time, you know, with, um, somebody, but you have some good news coming in. You have some good news coming in. The other one that, you know, the other energy who really, really wants to be connected with you, who th this is an adult who says some very immature things about you. They've been cut off for life because that's the energy that's really obsessed with somebody um, so if it was a, let's say you're an educator. So let's say you're an educator and it was the other parent, you know, whose child came home just so excited about, you know, how, um, you know, just how excited they were to come to your class or, you know, how all the other kids really like the vibrant color and how you decorated your classroom and just how much everybody just really loves your energy, you know. That other energy, like I said, like I said, you're cordial with them, but you, you already know what it is. So, um, that energy can't even be grateful to you for, you know, how you've imparted 
some kind of wisdom and knowledge and vibrancy into they, they can't even work together as a team they're so busy just being jealous and immature but source is saying it's a it's a it's a hard pass for them <laughs> like <laughs> that level of immaturity is like mm -mm. it's just toxic so but the good news is that whoever this one it this is another one you got some good news and prayers and so source is definitely separating those energies Because mm -hmm. somebody tried to separate you and somebody. But, yeah. Yeah, so, the prayers have been answered. The prayers have been answered. Here we have the Ten of Swords. So, some energies did not expect for you to thrive to like kind of so something has been fulfilled something has been fulfilled something has been fulfilled <clears throat> mm -hmm. so adjust your crown you're down to earth you're relatable you know the the argument that you're mentally ill or crazy or you need to be committed or something was wrong with you or you were going to fail or whatever it was it didn't work so something has been fulfilled Now people are seeing you as a guardian angel. Yeah, so stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. Yeah. You made way too many sacrifices. It's just like, like I said, you're a water sign. All water signs are highly creative. And so, um, but that's, I feel like somebody has been like listening to their water sounds, drinking your water. Um, um, and as just like, I feel like whoever, whoever is tuned in, I feel like you're just a very high vibrational cancer. And, um, unfortunately there are people who are, who have an issue with people just being happy or being, you know, tap, not going to just say happy, but just like really tapping into your well of joy. These energies right here. They're just motivated by something the opposite of what you're motivated by. They're on the they're on the dark side of the number three. You're on the light side of the number three. You were born to inspire. Whatever environment that they're in, they just hmm. they're motivated. Looks it looks like looking at your cards here. These energies are motivated by, because we're talking about water. Water is reflective, right? They're motivated by um, recording people, people when they're at their lowest point in life. But these are energies don't really want to be around when people are celebrating. You know, they're celebrating like... Um, the highlights, unless they're getting credit for it. Unless there's a camera in their face. Right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you'll be able to defend your decision to move on without even coming across as defensive. be moving on just like other people have because the the energy they just shady what they do these energies create a lot of issues for people and then they record it <laughs> yeah they just they shady yeah, so you're having a tower moment so now you're having some kind of an awakening now you're having an awakening as to why people just move on when people realize it's like they they created this they actually created this. All right? Here was the Empress card. So I do see, I do see you, your abundance and your prosperity growing now. I see your abundance and your prosperity growing now. Yeah. Now here's the um three of pentacles here. Mm-hmm. They do that kind of stuff. They set people up. You know, they, they set people up. 
create all kinds of stuff, get people in positions, you know, take, you know, put people in positions or people don't know that they're being recorded. You don't know what kind of, you know, stuff they do, put all kinds of stuff there. And it's like, oh my God, this person, we didn't know they were into that kind of lifestyle. We didn't know they were into this kind of stuff. That person, see, we knew they were mentally ill and then pretend like, oh, we're there for them if they ever need anything. And, oh, let's, let's, you know, call them up to the stage. I mean, <laughs> just, I mean, oh my goodness. So, so yeah, somebody figured it out. Anyway, so source is saying to you, um, you're, you're moving on from some stuff. You're definitely, you're, the queen of pentacles is, um, somebody may have gone down a, um, a rabbit hole and discovered some things and could have, um, awakened from a nightmare. You may have discovered some things yourself and awakened from a nightmare. So the good news is that you've discovered, you've awakened from a nightmare and you've lived to talk about it <laughs> and you're no longer motivated. No longer motivated by being around those certain types of energies. So now they're having a tower moment. Because some people don't. Some people become so incredibly embarrassed and ashamed, you know, that they're, they're embarrassed to silence. Literally, they're silenced. And some people are not. Some people go right into prayer warrior mode, and that's what the tower card is. Tower card mark uh, is like you know prayer warrior. It's like okay, you have an aha moment, like aha, okay, that's what the. But yeah, so something is um. This reading can get a whole lot deeper, but I'm gonna just leave it here. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just leave it here. So, uh, bottom line, the bottom line is is that your um. Your prayers are being answered here. Your prayers are being answered here. And I do see you have um, your ancestors are helping you to move on from something. I definitely feel like you will, um, you and somebody will no longer be talking to um, some people. Now that you have an innate, under, you have an innate spiritual understanding of some things and just how some energies operate. You don't want to be bothered anymore. You don't want to be bothered anymore because, and it's it's three it's three energies that just like to keep people in the dark about stuff. They like to create it, this water. They like to create this, you know. So somebody failed at stealing your identity. You won't be returning their call. Um, your peace is paramount. Much better lies ahead. You are protected by angels. Somebody's plan to disrupt your money backfired. Um, somebody's ex was on an assignment. No shocker there. <laughs> but first red flag, pray and meditate. You have the gift of clear cognizance. Um, take your time to decide and heal people. Just move differently. It may be time to schedule a vacation. Archangel Michael, the dispenser of justice is with you. It's you versus you. Um, dream even bigger, yeah. Um, solar plexus chakra. Close out the cycle in love. Prepare for an increase in pay. Somebody is an incubus. I have and I have some information on the second channel. It's called the Knowledge Channel, and the link is below in the description. But somebody's not happy without you. But keep moving forward. Follow your heart. Looking at your cards here, somebody's dealing with um a um was was and this is why you want to put together your. Like you're not imagining things like it looks like when somebody was younger, somebody just has big dreams, like somebody has big dreams and your ancestors or whoever was still alive believed in your dreams. And that's what you want to go back to. You don't want to get distracted. So that's what you want to think about this now. And so just like they believed in your dreams, cancer, somebody told you their dreams and somebody didn't believe in them. But you did. So that's what Source is trying to tell you. So I feel like um, they are a member of your soul community. So when you're around people who are like, oh, you can't believe anything they say. They lying. They lie about everything. I want you to call them and I want you to 
check and see if they tell them to the other side of high priest. This is high priest. The higher font is the high priestess. So let's say for somebody says, you know, I want you to call this psychic. You know, they're a liar. They don't, I, they lie about everything. They lie about this. And they got you, somebody got a human has you on assignment. Uh, they lie about this. And you can't trust anything they say. Source is like, but you got the same gift by default as a cancer. So that would be like somebody saying to you that you're a liar. Go figure. At bare minimum, they're basically saying there's a competition going on. But you don't have a competition because everybody has high priestess gifts. At the helm of something, there's an Aries and a Scorpio. And a Taurus or an organization, a religious organization, is the helm of something. So, you know, with somebody's mother and somebody's son is at the, at the helm of something. Because I'm looking at the sun card there, so... So, sources answer you, put your list together. When you have a total, re this is what this uh, tower card is, your total recall of who believed you when you were younger, who believed in your dreams, your downloads, who believed you when people thought you were lying about something, when you, what about whatever it was, and who believed in your dreams. When you said, when I grow up, I want to be such and such. When other people said, oh, no, you can never be that when you grow up. Or if you told somebody something and they thought you were lying about something, who was that person? That's the person who is helping you to move on. They may not be physically here in physical form anymore, but that is the energy that's helping you to move on to calmer waters and to get settled. So you can start going back to your crab shell so you can get back into your crab shell and process your intuition with clarity. So you don't have to buy into this whatever these energies are jumping to conclusions about people just because you may have a long-standing connection with them and source is saying yeah a time to give rather than a time to take when the moon is in virgo virgo is somebody can have a moon in virgo virgo is um when the moon is in virgo it, it um helps to remind us that your diet is really really important food is medicine um but being around toxic energy, energy vampires, that's what these are, all this being around these draining people, um, could drive some people to drinking. Drinking extra caffeinated drink or pouring other spirits into your body where you can't think straight and your water sign that's contaminating your water. So as I improve each day, my income expands in every way. I provide valuable outputs that serve and uplift people around me. I communicate my thoughts, feelings, and ideas with ease. So work. I'll have you doubting everybody. Having you believe everybody is crazy. Everybody is, you know, delusional. Everybody is this and that. But you got the same gift. <laughs> That was passed down. All right? What did I say? You see me shuffling the cards. Make a healthy meal. That's going to be part of your medicine. So you can analyze things with a clear mind. Mind, body, and spirit. So you can analyze things. That is what I have for you all. Put together your gratitude. Let's be grateful that somebody believed you and believed in you. Pass that on as a gift. And she can be someone's earth angel. 24. I am generous. You have a heart of gold and you're very skilled at maintaining balanced, stable relationships. You are loyal to your loved ones and you're able to be the nurturer, provider all at once. Yeah, that's what I have for you, Cancers. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.